The moment Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship changed forever. Four million Australians tuned in to watch Princess Diana's youngest son, Prince Harry, wed his blushing bride-to-be, Hollywood star Meghan Markle. But little did we know their happily ever after would be hundreds of kilometers away from the palace on the other side of the world. Since announcing their exit from the royal life, the Sussexes have been caught in the crosshairs of a tabloid takedown. From public admissions of the uncertainty to a war of words with the UK press, it hasn't been smooth sailing. Now, a new book is shedding a new light on one of the most widely reported stories that the Fat Four are no more. And according to author Dylan Howard, the cracks began to form early on in Harry and Meghan's relationship after Prince William warned his younger brother of Meghan's intentions. It was very soon after Prince Harry introduced Meghan Markle to the family, Howard said. There was a particular moment in which Prince William pulled Harry aside and questioned as to whether or not she was indeed the one. It was probably a routine brotherly question, but what it did was it caused a divisive rift between the two, and these two had been shoulder to shoulder for decades. In many ways, it caused a royal civil war. Harry was furious with William for questioning his judgment, and it set in motion the downward spiral that he would come to see. How the Queen defended Meghan? According to Howard's book, Queen Elizabeth II welcomed Meghan with open arms and was her biggest supporter. She even allowed Meghan to travel with her own private team, a luxury never afforded to William and Harry. She did make a conscious effort, so much so that they had a public outing soon after she and Harry started dating, Howard said. She allowed her to travel on her private train and gave her diamond jewels at one point as a gift and allow her to choose jewelry for her wedding from the royal collection, which is something that hadn't been afforded to others. The move to America. While the Sussexes have now moved to America to escape the limelight, Howard says this move is hugely paradoxical. They moved to a place where the limelight shines brighter than anywhere else, Howard said. The LAPD has been called to their home in Los Angeles five times because of their paparazzi had been flying drones over their home. There's this great paradox as to why they wanted to escape the limelight. Part of it had to do with the way she was treated by the British media. Make no mistake, she became a target of the tabloids because she was a commoner and she was American and she was black. In my eyes, she was vilified by the media as a result of all those issues. Marrying into their firm. You have to feel a level of sympathy for Meghan, Howard said. Here she's marrying into what is called the firm. And the firm was fearful that this ultimately would end up the way it has. This is the biggest royal crisis since the abdication of King George. Here you have a very senior member of the royal family turning his back on the establishment in his country, and that is perceived by many British people to be a wrongful act. Meghan Markle, on the other hand, has tried to do things her way, and you've got to feel for her because she's been villainized for wanting to do things her own way. What pushed Harry over the edge? There's no doubt Prince Harry has tremendously been affected by the death of his mother, Howard said. He had an inherent resentment for the royal family as a result and a hatred of media for the way Diana was pursued. He didn't want that for Archie and his wife, but as soon as she became involved in the royal circle, that's exactly what happened. In many ways, he made these actions and decisions and she pushed him in many ways into helping to make the decisions to live a life outside of the firm at the expense of royal protocol. There's no winner in this situation.